What's going on guys, King Strats here, back in the video on the channel. And today, we are here with, well, the best White Castle order that I would get. I haven't been in White Castle in ages, but this right here is an order that I would not get 99% of the time. There are a few things that are changed from it. One, they forgot one of the items, but I'm having such a good day that I don't really care, to be honest. And I also would probably get just six regular sliders or get a chicken slider, but they do have these 1921 sliders that I've actually never tried. So this is my first time trying the 1921 sliders, which are right here in the middle. We also have a movie review that we're gonna go over today. Won't be a crazy long one, but I did see Nope in theaters, and Jordan Peele is one of my favorite directors in this new regime, especially when it comes to like this kind of horror-esque kind of stuff he's doing, so I want to talk about that as well. So kind of a bit of a double feature. It's only like the second or third time we've done White Castle on the channel, other than the Harold and Kumar eating contest I did a long time ago, which made me not want White Castle for a while, but we've got some good content today, guys. You guys have been so awesome with the support. Uh, I'm honestly taken aback by it. I know this stuff sounds kind of corny, but you guys have been just great. Um, I also do want to give a shout out. I don't want to single anybody out by name because I, I feel like it's wrong to do that without people's permission. But a couple of days ago, I did talk about the fact that I uh, broke my computer completely crashed. I talked to the Apple people, they can't fix it. And um, some of you, I never asked and I never would ask for something like that. But some of you actually did hit the cash app and hit the Venmo. Um, there was some considerable, um, I, I don't like to out people, I don't want to put your name out there without me having it, but like, if, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you are, because you guys are so supportive, like, thank you, like, really. Um, I, I'm in the process of actually going to have a new computer within the next 24 hours because of it. Um, I just, damn, like, you guys are awesome. And everybody else, if you watch these videos, that is support that is more than enough for me. So I don't want anybody else to feel single out, but I do love you guys so much, man. Like, seriously, I, I, I'm not doing this just to be like cliche. Like, I truthfully mean that. Again, thank you so much. Just the, your, your support, your likes, subscribes, the thumbs up, the stuff that I call cringe is, is more than enough for me. So from the bottom of my heart, again, thank you. Um, anyway, let's get into these White Castle sliders. Let's get into the video. Um, I, I want to try this 1921 slider. This is actually my very first time trying it. If you're unfamiliar with what it means, White Castle opened up in 1921. So uh, as their anniversary, they dropped like these commemorative sliders, which are a lot thicker of a patty. Now, normally I did ask for a uh, tomato on this. It comes with lettuce and tomato. There's no tomato on it. Um, but they do have, instead of like their square onions, they do have sauteed onions on here. Um, it was late night. I'm really not going to get mad about them, like, not doing my order right. But I I've never tried these sliders, so I do want to try them. What the hell am I tasting? There is, like, a distinct, like, a sautéed onion, like, Worcestershire sauce on these. Oh, not expecting that. For comparison, I do have the regular OGs. I'm just gonna show you one real quick, just to kind of give you give you a heads up. This one has considerably more meat. The sauteed onions, as opposed to the um, just regular like those diced onions they normally use, and the flavor is actually slightly. It's different. I was, you know, looking at these going like, who cares? Like, it's just like, it looks like a thicker patty and they add a lettuce and tomato, like, big deal. I'm a White Castle person. These are better than the regular sliders. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think these are dope. These taste like actual quality sliders. Like, they stopped serving quality shit, I guess, after 1921 because these are better. I like these a lot, man. I'm, I'm surprised. White Castle wasn't really known for their, like, quality. I guess it's a weird way. I don't know if they're using, like, rat meat in these. <laughs> Why don't you just make these? Why would you? Again, pizza and leather. That's not look. <laughs> Why would you even? Who signed off on these in the first place? Can we just switch to the 21s? <laughs> look at the difference, bro. I have the same ingredients on both. I swear. So... I don't know what to tell y'all. 1921 is definitely a vibe. Also, I had to get the onion rings. In my Goat White Castle order, I would never get the French fries. The French fries are absolute butt cheeks. I never liked them. I have said that in multiple videos, but their onion rings to me are class. They didn't have zesty sauce or they forgot it, whatever, but they give me my cheese sauce, which I asked for. So we got onion rings and cheese. Not really an L if you ask me, except for when you drop it on your table. I 
addicted to this stuff. Y'all don't know about this? This right here? Southwest mustard. Okay? Southwest mustard. Walmart. It's like a dollar fifty for this. Southwest mustard. Say it with me again. That's South S O U F West mustard. Did I get yeah, let's just do this. From the trenches, bro. We just reused. I'm gonna put a little on here. I did that off camera, I apologize, but it's right here for you. Here we go. Southwest mustard. If y'all don't know about this, this is my one of my favorite condiments I use when I do low calorie stuff, but it ain't even about the calories. This is just a W condiment, if you ask me. Yeah. I got a breakfast slider. They didn't give it to me, but they did give me my hash browns. I never had a White Castle hash brown before. Is this supposed to be filled up? Because, like, is this what you want your legacy to be? I can't complain with White Castle, bro. Like, you know what you get in a White Castle. They ain't going to say nothing to you. <laughs> They're so rude. I love it. Crispy. Unseasoned as hell. But crispy. Still a dub. I don't mind those. And of course, we had to go White Castle OG slider. There's meat somewhere in here, but this is what they always look like. They come in a little plastic, uh, whatever you want to call it. There's ketchup on here. They usually do pickles, but I only got the diced onions. And of course, the soggy bun that has been synonymous with White Castle and their pale uh, rat meat. <laughs> It don't listen. White Castle is one of those things. You don't go there for quality. You just go there because it just it hits different. And then on the way out, it's also just as bad. But here we go. And the ketchup. There's just something that our W is about to do sometimes. Sometimes you like really want White Castle, and and this just hits hits for you. But don't go there expecting the Sistine Chapel or or something that's like quality. Anybody that says White Castle is trash, as a person who loves White Castle, I'm here to say this. I don't blame you. No, yeah. I can see why you think it's trash. But I still like it. There's, no, there's nothing else to say about White Castle. Like, I completely understand why you don't like it. But I'm still here for it. And I'm one of the lucky, because one in every ten human beings can eat White Castle and not be on a toilet for seven hours. I'm one of those ten. I'm lucky. I just I was blessed with the genetic stomach. That's like godlike powers. I'm built different. Taco Bell don't mess me up. White Castle don't mess me up. I know. I feel y'all. But I'm, I'm going to take advantage of my gift. For y'all, um, the 1921 slider, they do key on these. I'm not going to lie. A thousand times better. But I'll still rock with them. And we got the butter cake on a stick. I had to try this. There's no way. I have to eat it before it melts, so we're going to do it right now. Mm -hmm. Where's the stick? It smells good. You know what this smells like to me? I guess you probably got to be old as hell for this, but you ever have butter crunch cookies? We smell just like butter crunch cookies. I feel like this is about to, like, it's midnight for me right now. You know it's going to spot on. Bro, it's like a butter crunch cheesecake. Cake. Contraption. Uh, on a stick. It's even better because you can just hold it on a stick. Stop. I know somebody finna say something. You get what I'm saying. It's a fucking stick, man. It's White Castle, bro. We don't get mad. We just pick it up and keep it moving. This is delicious, though. Like, it's very, very rich. Buttery. Um, again, I'm getting, like, cheesecake, but, like, crunchy. It tastes like a butter crunch cookie to me. But, oh, this is delicious, man. Um, I think it costs, like, $1.99, which is literally a ripoff, but... It's White Castle, bro. We don't get mad at White Castle. We just we just keep it moving. This is delicious. Dollar ninety nine, probably not, but you know you finna want this. Anyway, as I dig into the rest of my food, let's chop it up a little bit. Let's talk. We're talking about nope. Had a crazy day um, on the way here or on the way to the movie. Um, I got there a little early. I went to a different movie theater that's in the mall where I live. Um, the mall there is super dope and. I really get to go. So, figure out walk around the mall for a little bit. I got a little. If you follow me on IG or, or TikTok, you might have seen this already. No one's going to know what this is unless you're a nerd. But I got this. Y'all can't even see this, but you can see what it does. It's like a reflective kind of poster, right? So, there are three of my favorite Star Wars characters. Right here, if you look, we have Darth Revan. You can barely tell with the red lightsaber. And then you have um, 
Darth Malik on the other side. It's, it's just, I thought this was so dope. I was walking in the mall real quick, right? And uh, the dude at the stand, you could tell he was on the phone, but he knew I was gonna buy something. I had, I had that look in my eye. So it was all anime stuff. So if, you, if you're in a plaza, like the Garden City Plaza live by me, like check this stuff out. Like I'm not doing advertising. I don't even know this dude. I'm just, I'm just literally telling you that I thought it was dope. So there was a bunch of anime stuff, but at the corner of my eye, I see a lightsaber. So you know I'm Star Wars. I, I, I saw, I was like, oh, I gotta get this. And I looked and it's Darth Malak and Darth Revan, which isn't like, they're not in the movies. Like you're talking like, like, you know, like legends and stuff from Star Wars. You gotta be a total nerd to even get what I'm saying. But anyway, the dude, like he said, how much is it? I said, he, he said, like, I think he said $20. I didn't even bat an eyelash, bro. I was like, give me. <laughs> I was like, we got it. He didn't even say that. I talked to this dude for two seconds, bro. I was out. But I had to show y'all that. If you're a Star Wars nerd, you will appreciate it. If not, you're going to think I'm a nerd, and I love that. That's cool with me. Anyway, um, get to the theater. This is way better than a white house like burger, bro. Like, way better. And I'm sitting down. There was an, an older woman and it was a cane. I sat in the back. I never sit in the back. I always sit, like, middle in the side. I sat all the way in the back because it was IMAX, IMAX experience, and there's an old, older woman on a cane, with a cane, she's like a seat in between me, and she was like, oh, I have a seat over here, and I was like, oh, thank God, I was, I was messing around with her, I was like, good, I was hoping it wasn't somebody weird, and she said, I'm not weird, <laughs> she was so nice, though, we ended up having, I went to this IMAX version that had like a like a live stream with Jordan Peele beforehand. And um, I really wanted to listen to it, but this lady, we started talking about movies, like 80s horror movies. She was big on them, 80s horror movies. She starts talking about the howling. And she's, we're in between on a seat, right? <laughs> I, I thought this was so fun. I, I don't know, I like people like this, that they just, they just want to talk, bro. So. She's talking about the howling ball and trying to listen to Jordan Peele out one ear. She ends up moving a seat over and sits down next to me. She's like, like literally like this close to me, <laughs> bro. Like, like just chewing my ear off about this stuff. I, I just, I thought it was awesome. No, I like people like that. You know, she said that she like goes to like five movies a week. She had so much to say about movies. Like, yo, you know your movies. You know, I'm a big movie guy. So, um, I had to tell that story because she obviously, uh, you know, was was the type of person that just was would talk to anybody, and I love those kind of people. I always got the most stuff to say, and I'm here for it. Anyway, on to the movie. I had to get that in. Get the cheese sauce. I love Jordan Peele. I'll just start off by saying this: I love the movie. I loved it. I thought it didn't waste time getting into what was going on in the movie, but it gave you enough to set it up, and from the very beginning. Everybody in the theater, it was a packed theater, was super quiet because the atmosphere was awesome. The cinematography in this film is some of the best that I have seen in a while. IMAX, if you're gonna see it, I would go to IMAX if I could because the movie was shot and made for IMAX films and you can clearly tell. A lot of very open, open world shots, large scenes, the lighting is insane, the uh, contrast between like the light and the dark, like there's foggy scenes, there's like nighttime scenes, it really captured this suspenseful um, type of, of atmosphere where you're you're kind of tense while you're watching it, especially in the first act of the movie where you don't know what's going on yet. Um, I thought the actors in the movie were all great, especially the two leads. Um, my man, what's his name? I believe his name is Daniel Kaluuya. I don't wanna like mess it, but he was also in Get Out. Um, you've seen him in Black Panther. Um, he's a brilliant actor and what makes him so great to me is he doesn't really have to say or do a lot to command a scene. He, he's one of those actors to me that has a presence when he is on camera that he's, he noticed, you're very noticing, um, he's noticeable I should say of him, where he doesn't seem to, especially in the beginning parts and he doesn't seem to move a lot but he doesn't have to. Like, he's very... And you'll see when I get it, but he was just phenomenal at that. And I think that he acted as a perfect foil for Kiki Palmer, who played his sister in the movie. Um, she was awesome. She was funny. She provided sort of like a bit of a comic relief to it um, that they worked very well. You would literally probably believe that they were actual siblings, the way that they acted towards each other. Um, Jordan Peele, directorial job. 
top notch as usual. He's only done, you know, the big thing is comparing the three movies, um, which I will a little bit in a second, but you know, they have a man Glenn from The Walking Dead um, that, that played a role. It, it was just, the, the acting was very good. The cinematography was good. The storyline kept you on your toes. It was very suspenseful in the sense of you kind of, I'm not joking with you, noticeably. I caught myself doing this, watching the movie a lot. A lot of times I caught myself leaning towards the screen and, and trying to figure out in IMAX because it was such an open shot, like, what is that? What the hell? Like, a lot. And that kind of stuff keeps you going. It, it kept me on the edge of my seat through the whole movie. I love the fact that he kind of has like these, and I'm speaking about Jordan Peele, these, um, you know, social things that are in film that you actually have to pay attention to, to notice, but there's always like a little one, like a hidden message in what he does. I just, I think he's brilliant. I really do. Um, so far to man, don't miss. If I had to rate this movie, and I don't want to give away any plot points, but I will say um, that the runtime was a little too long. It's probably the only con that I have. As weird as this sounds, I think that the suspense leading into it of no one knowing what the hell it was about adds something to the atmosphere of the movie, but some people might be put off by it. I can see that because I don't know if you're going to expect the kind of movie that you get. Um, but again, the movie was all shot on basically one location, very large open location. Um, and I think it, it, he just does so well with it. I can't really give anything away without giving away plot points, but I do think that you'll be on the edge of your seat. If you're expecting like a true horror film, that is not what you're going to get, I will say that. Um, it's definitely more of like a suspense slash adventure kind of film when it was all said and done. But it does have a little bit of like a spooky element to it. And it does have a decent comedic amount of, of, of content in it. Um, not to the Thor point where they kind of drove it away, but it was just enough comic relief that you noticed, that, again, audience reactions are, are very big. A lot of laughter, also a lot of gasps, believe it or not. So uh, I will say that it's definitely worth a watch. If you were a fan of his other stuff, I think you'll enjoy this um, just as much. Now, the big question that everybody always asks when it comes to his movies, and I'll get into that right now, What are his movies' rankings? Even when I posted a TikTok about it and an Instagram, how do you rank the three? So let's talk about it. As crazy as this sounds, I just praised this movie to, to whatever. This is the third best movie he's done, believe it or not. And that is not a bad thing. If I rate this movie out of five, I would give it a 4.6. It's really, really good. Other than The Batman, probably the best movie I've seen this year. But Get Out and Us were for like, to me, like masterpieces. Get Out to me was like a 4.9 and, and Us is, is right underneath that at a 4.8, like actual ratings. So giving something a 4.6 is an excellent movie in my opinion. Five is perfect. So I'm not in any way saying it's bad, but it's still the third best. Still great. I think that they all deserve praise for different reasons. And you know, Onion almost falling on my mouth. I have to say this about Jordan Peele and why I was watching this and kind of digesting why I think he's so good at what he does. Something that I completely respect about him is his formula is willing to change in every movie he does. He made three different movies that weren't very similar at all and had different atmospheres and types of movies that were all great and he's not afraid to mix it up. A lot of directors, they get in this zone and you can tell their movies right away. I don't think that he necessarily does that. He has underlying themes that are generally the same, but this movie was like 10 movies in one. And you know, it, there's something to be said about that. Another director that I think is like that is like a Quentin Tarantino, where like, he's just gonna do some stuff. You know, you know a Tarantino film when you see it, but other than the recurring actors, they tend to be all over the place. You know, he's done Westerns, um, he's done, you know, revenge films, he's done horror films, he's done like pulp type of films, when I say pulp, pulp fiction type of films, the non-linear directing, that there's just something to be said about that. And Tarantino is probably one of my favorite directors from that era. Um, and, and Jordan Peele is becoming one of my favorite directors from this one. I just think he's brilliant. Uh, I, I love that he's not afraid to mix it up and he still doesn't miss. That's hard to do as a director. So I had to kind of say that. Like, mad props to this movie. Again, 4.6. I will 
definitely give it a stamp of approval and say that if you're a fan, you should go see it. Again, IMAX, if you can. If you have the option, do the IMAX. That, that's my thing, and I am sticking to it. But we've got a very long day. My studio is a mess. I have to clean it. Um, I have to get rid of this computer. It's a giant paperweight now. Apple won't even fix it. They can't do anything with it, literally. It's too old to be fixed, and it's it's not working. They tried everything um, on the phone support, so they can't really do anything. But I'm not mad. You guys were kind of up on that, but I did have to like get rid of all the wires and stuff, so I'm doing that. So I'm looking around at wires, and it's driving me nuts. But I wanted to check in, of course. Haven't had Wet Castle in forever. We did get to review the 1921 burger. We did get to review Nope. Um, and, of course, I did get to make sure that I continue to put out content for you guys again thank you so much for your support I, i've said all that stuff again i'm being redundant but I, I just have to say it like for the thousandth time people some people probably think that you know i'm just being annoying but when i started doing this channel a couple of years ago I, I didn't have any idea of like trying to like do anything it was just something that i wanted to do for fun and i, I was fine just making videos i didn't think that it would turn into something that people enjoyed so Again, I said this when I had 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> I said it when I had 20. I don't care what the number is. I've, I've met a lot of quality people, and I just want to say again that, like, no matter what that number goes to or whatever it is, like, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Like, it, it's not the important thing. And the important thing is everybody's enjoying themselves, and so am I. Not all that matters to me. But I got to clean this damn studio up. I really got to clean this studio up. It's driving me. I keep staring off at it. So, tomorrow... It's Friday for me. I hope everybody enjoys their Friday when they're watching this, but we'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.